Funerals are very costly and for somebody who's in a lower socioeconomic group, that can be up to 30 to 40% of their take home income each year that they would spend on a funeral if they lose a loved one. So our project is all about trying to bring down the cost of funerals and find more affordable ways for people to farewell their loved ones, but also to identify ways for people to prepare financially that are more fair. So Commonwealth Bank actually originally engaged us to do a discrete piece of research work around funeral insurance. But what we found in that initial phase of work where there are a lot of other issues at play around funerals and the financial products associated with funerals. So they actually philanthropically funded us to do a bit of a systems change exploration to see what we might be able to do across both of those areas. And their flexible funding was incredibly important for us to be able to present this two-pronged solution that hopefully lowers the price of funerals, but also allows people to save in an appropriate and practical way. We're working with a range of partners to bring a new financial product to the market and what that'll look like is a, a way to encourage people to save but also providing a bit of protection should they pass away before they actually meet their savings target. And on the funeral services side we're working in partnership with Tender Funerals Australia to replicate their not-for-profit community-led funeral model and what we're hoping to do is bring that model to communities across Australia so each of those communities could establish their own social enterprise that's also a not-for-profit social enterprise. It's financially viable over the longer term and delivers meaningful funerals for community members in that area. The tender model is that we're a not-for-profit funeral service and how we work is that we work with the whole community and we charge exactly what we charge what it costs us to operate. What we're actually seeing is that tender can deliver on average costs down to the $3,000 mark. So what Australians will be able to experience is funeral costs half of what they've been experiencing to date. Well, it's been able to achieve a sustainable model, actually. So we've uh, conducted over 300 funerals um, in, that, in that time, and 40% of people are coming into the mortuary, and that is increasing all the time. What it's proved, actually, is that culture change can happen within one funeral. Um, which I didn't expect and which is actually remarkable. The replication model for tender funerals has been the establishment of a national body that's going to be providing critical IP, capacity building support, including training and fundraising support to communities across Australia that are interested in starting their own tender funerals. I feel very excited about it and very proud to be part of it actually because it really is work that really does need to be done and they're doing it in a creative, imaginative compassionate and practical way. So having creating a financial a financial model where people can save for funerals um, is really a big part of the solution. But the other part of the solution is that you don't have to save $20,000 or $15,000. So having an affordable funeral service that you can, um, that, that's accessible to people is actually, for people to save four to $5,000 is doable, or $3,000, you know, depending on what you can have. But it's a doable thing rather than this incredible amount that you might have to save for. How would I describe my partnership with SBA is, uh, I think it's uh, brilliant actually. I think the partnership is really about really looking at how to solve a problem.